Hi, in this video, I will help you understand how to package the Spring Boot application uh, to Java archive file or Java file. So, the Spring application can run as a standalone Java application. I am Nam Amin from CodeJava.net. I'm going to show you how to package the Spring Boot application to Java file using two ways. The first way is using command line uh, and then uh, run the Spring Boot application using the Java uh, command with flag ja here. And the second way is uh, uh, to package the Spring Boot application inside Eclipse IDE or Spring to Suite IDE and then run the Spring Boot application as a normal application. Here you can see I have a Spring Boot project uh, called Product Manager here. As you see uh, Eclipse project uh, with Maven view. You can see the Maven project file, bomb.xml file here. And uh, uh, let me open this. Uh, Maven build file, and you can see uh, easily see that this is a, a Spring Boot project with the a Spring Boot starter parent here. And notice that uh, the artifact ID, product manager, and the version uh, 0.0.1 snapshot. Uh, the artifact ID and version will be used uh, as the Java file name. So you want to change your Java file name when you package your Spring Boot application. Uh, you should change the artifact ID and version number here in the Maven project file. And before packaging your Spring Boot project uh, to a Java file, via command line. Make sure that you have Maven installed on your computer and then you can run this uh, command uh, from command line and we have package to package the Spring Boot project to a Java file and to run uh, the Spring Boot Java file as an application you can use this Java command Java with the flag Java and then your Java file name Okay, let me show you. First, let's open the Windows uh, command prompt. Okay. And let me show you the content of the path environment Apple. So you can see uh, my Maven is uh, installed. Okay, let me see. Yeah, you can see. Uh, you can see this is a part to Maven on my computer. Maven Apache Maven version 3.5.4. You see here. And you can, in the command line, you can tie the command MVN version to see the version of Maven here. You can see uh, Apache uh, Maven 3.0.3.5.4 uh, and the Java version here. Java version that runs Maven 11.0.2 uh, here. Okay, now uh, let's change the current directory in the command line to the uh, Spring Boot project in Windows using the cd command cd d driver uh, Spring Boot and you can see uh, sorry I'll go to the d driver first And you can see 
in this directory yeah, I have the project uh, product uh, manager here in this directory and now uh, change the current directory to the project directory product manager okay here we go and you can see the bomb.html file here so make sure, sure that the current directory contains the maven project file bomb.html file and now uh, let's tie the command the mv and the package uh, to package our Spring Boot project and you can see maven is running And you can see build success. And you can see there's uh, information about the Java here, building Java here. And you can see the generated Java here is the product manager is artifact ID and then the version number 0.0.1 snapshot here. Okay, in the target directory here. Now you can tie the command directory for the target directory, and you can see the Java got created here for the Spring Boot project here. And now we can run this our Spring Boot application from this Java file. And using the Java command, Java hyphen ja and uh, Java file name. Sorry, uh, we need to change the current directory to the target directory. Target, okay. And using the command, let me set the command wrong. Okay, and we can tie it command java ja product you can see here so this is a command to run our spring boot uh, application from command line this is a java command with the flag ja and then the java name okay and hit enter and you will see our spring boot application is uh, running Okay, our Spring Boot application is up and running. Product Manager. Uh, you see less logging information because in the project here, project uh, properties here, we set the logging level. Oh, let me show you. Is uh, logging level is warning. main resources application properties here and you can see the uh, logging level here is the uh, warning so you can see the last logging message in the console okay so our Spring Boot application is up and running now we can use Chrome browser to access our Spring Boot application so I open Chrome Okay, you see uh, my Chrome browser. And I tie the URL HTTP localhost port uh, number HTTP, which is a default for a Spring Boot application. Hit enter. And you can see uh, our Spring Boot application is up and running product manager. And here we can create a new product. Product name is, yeah, for example, um, Kindle Reader brand and Amazon made in uh, China price $199. And click save. And you can see there's a new product. What created Kindle Reader? Yeah. Very good, right?
and to stop uh, our Spring Boot application in the command line, you can press the press the Control C in the uh, window command line to stop our Spring Boot application. So I press Control C here, and you can see our Spring Boot application stopped. And then you can uh, verify by refresh our application. And you see, we want an error message uh, from the browser. The site can't be reached because uh, our string boot application uh, stopped. So that's um, how to package the string boot application using command line. Yeah, very simple, right? And uh, let me show you how to. Package uh, our Spring Boot application again, uh, and this time we change the name of the jar file. Artifact ID we keep product manager and we change the version to uh, uh, 1.0, for example. And remember that the artifact ID and version number will be used. As uh, the final jar name when packaging Spring Boot project. Okay, and in the command line, um, we the current directory is a target directory, so we move up one uh, directory to the project directory, and uh, first we need to run the MVN clean command to clean the target directory and you can see uh, you success and you can see the target directory uh, was removed and then we can run the mvn request command to request our spring boot application again You see, uh, build success, and now you can see the uh, Java file uh, is different product uh, manager 1.0. Yeah, uh, for short, you can tie the command uh, MVN clean and package, uh, specify two roles clean and package at the same time for the M. VN command and now we can uh, change directory to the target directory and run our Spring Boot application and then this time the jar file is different Okay, you see our Spring Boot application is up and running. You can press Ctrl C to stop the application. Now I'm going to show you how to package uh, a Spring Boot uh, project, Spring Boot application in Eclipse IDE or Spring to Suite IDE, and then run the uh, Spring Boot uh, application Java file as a normal application. Uh, this year, a Spring uh, to Sweet IDE version 4, SDS 4 on my computer. You can see uh, I open the project, uh, project manager here. Open the Maven uh, project file here, and you can see. You can see the artifact. Uh, ID and the version number here uh, will be used uh, as the jar file. And to package our Spring Boot project uh, as a jar file in uh, an IDE like Spring to Suite, 
uh, right click on the project and uh, run as here yeah, in the run as menu you choose option uh, uh, maven view then uh, option number four here and in this in, uh, dialog specify the role uh, for the maven so we specify the role package uh, to package the application and click uh, run and you can see uh, maven output in the console view here and you can see uh, view uh, success and the uh, 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 Java he is product manager uh, 1.0 here in the target directory okay so uh, we go to our project directory product manager here in the target directory and you can see the uh, java uh, product manager uh, what created here and we can uh, run our spring boot application by double click uh, this uh, java file okay before running this java file let me uh, show you in the chrome browser uh, local host uh, or ATAT here and we want the error this site can be rich and now let uh, run our Spring Boot uh, application from Java here double click and you see nothing uh, appears because we double click the Java and the Java Vumo machine uh, invoked uh, in the background running in the background and uh, if you open the tax manager, you can see a process Java W here. This process is running our Spring Boot application. It is different than the process that is running our IDE Spring to Suite 4. Okay. So our Spring Boot application is up and running. Now rest uh, refresh this uh, browser here. And you can see the application is up and running. And now we can edit a uh, product. For example, edit the price of Kindle of with uh, to 200. Edit the brand name to Kindle e-reader. Click save, and you can see it is updated. Kindle you read the price 200. Very good, right? And to stop now, Spring Boot application, uh, you need to kill to terminate uh, that Java process, Java W dot uh, XZ here. So right click and end process and process. And uh, try to refresh the browser, and you will see, you will see uh, Spring Boot application stopped. You see here, the site can be rich. So that's uh, how to uh, package a Spring Boot application uh, in uh, an IDE like uh, Spring to Suite. Just uh, right click on the project and choose uh, Run As. Uh, Maven view and specify the role. Uh, if you want to clean and practice, you can specify two roles here clean and practice here. Okay, so that's how to package the Spring Boot project, a Spring Boot application uh, to a Java archive file. Java file. I hope you found this video helpful. I am Nam Ming from Code Java Thank you for watching.